From Austin, Texas tonight, there is new video emerging, and two police officers are now under investigation. The video shows one officer and the takedown of a teacher after a traffic stop, and what a second police officer can be heard saying to the teacher when she's put in the police cruiser. Here's ABC's Steve Osinsami now. Do not touch me. By no means does this violent takedown of a second grade teacher speak for the behavior of all police. But what she hears from a second officer in the squad car on the way to jail helps explain why many black Americans don't trust police. Let me ask you this. Why, why are so many people afraid of black people? Violent tendencies. The video is coming to light tonight, a year later. It is. The black community is being violent. That's why a lot of the white people are afraid, and I don't blame them. There's some guys I look at, I guess. I know it's my job to deal with them, and I know it's probably going to go ugly. Austin police are now looking into the actions of Officer Brian Richter, accused of excessive force, and Patrick Spradling, whose comments in the cruiser are being called racist. Put your feet back in the car. 26 year old Breanne King was stopped for speeding, and it went downhill after she got upset, and the first officer lost his cool. He later tells his side of the story. I didn't want to hit her, man. I was just trying to control her. She told me, though. But she's never seen hitting him in the video. It concerns me that just one officer has this notion about a whole group of people, a whole community of people that he hasn't met and he didn't even know. Me. Authorities are now publicly apologizing. Uh, I'm sorry that you were treated in a manner that is not consistent with my, the expectations of this police chief. At the time, Officer Richter's only discipline was counseling and training. Tonight, the police union says the comments in the car are just wrong. David? All right, Steve.